Please confirm me, guys, if my screen is visible to you all. Yes, sir. It is visible. Okay, I'll start. So, firstly, why does a retail business need a POS system? So, firstly, it streamlines your transaction through POS system. Counterwise billing, we can keep a track of amount of billing done per counter in a day. Another feature is inventory management. By default, this ERPNX POS system syncs all your real-time inventory to the POS screen. And while billing, system show you the actual product quantity present at the store. Another point is sales and financial report. So this POS system provide detailed sales and financial report where business owner and managers can access information on sales trend, revenue and profit margin. Also employee management. So this POS system can track employee activity and can even help business owner to monitor. Yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but we can see you are only uh, does retail business need a POS system. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, I'm on that screen only. Okay. Okay. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So this POS system can track employee activity, as I said, and can even help business owner to monitor individual performance, manage their shift and prevent fraud. Another point is CRM. So this POS can allow businesses to collect customer information as well as their purchase history. So this data can be used for targeting market campaigns, your loyalty program and improvising your customer service. Now let's talk about time efficiency. So someone who is well, well aware of using this ERP next POS, hardly it takes 15 to 20 seconds per transaction. Now the last point is scalability. So as a business grows, it can easily expand its POS system to accommodate more location and users. And this scalability is particularly important for business owner with plan for expansion. Now, let's move to the next slide. So before discussing this POS feature, there are two different aspects of POS which I would like to highlight. One is the default POS which comes with ERPNX itself. Obviously, that is totally free. So once you install ERPNX, you can use this feature. Another one which is paid, that is Pause Awesome, present on Frappe Marketplace. So if you see at the market stats or maybe this uh, particular matrix, I see 80% of the feature are common in both of the system. So yes, there are few feature which stands the POS apart from this default POS is obviously your one is the UI experience. Okay. And some additional promotional scheme, pricing rule and your coupon code. Rest, everything is common between the both platform that is POS default and POS, which is present on marketplace. OK, so here are some key POS feature. Firstly, is your quick sales transaction. Then you have an option for product listing. Then we have this uh, hassle free returns, your real time inventory control. You can do multi location setup as well. As I said, this promotion rule pricing scheme and this coupon code is something which is not present in the default. Rest this loyalty program, discounting, anchoring info, uh, invoice submission, and different UI experience is present in both of these platforms. Hello, sorry. sorry. Uh, so can you please uh, shut down your video? And because uh, your practice is Okay, okay. Uh, I hope now it's okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, this is a default POS, I can say, a ER diagram. So, first, the customer goes to the counter with their item, the item gets scanned into your POS screen. Then item gets added to your cart, then the billing is done and in the real time your inventory has been updated. So now let's get into the system. I'll show you some quick feature into the ERP next how it works. Okay. Okay. So before initiating this uh, POS, I would like to highlight that there are some prerequisites which you need to make sure before initiating your POS transaction. So first one is obviously your item master. I'll just go to item list. 
before you initiate your pos implementation first you need to make sure you have some of the item present into your screen okay uh so as here you can see i already have some of the item added into my uh, item list okay if you wish to add item image also you can add that as well okay so what will happen once you put the image into this item master automatically this will get pulled into your pos screen once you import your item then you need to set some standard pricing list into for this all of those item okay obviously along with this i have uploaded some of those opening stock just for the sample test test entry so i have this opening stock into my system okay now another part we have this post setting so just like your crm setting buying setting your selling setting we have this crm setting so here i have added those two field like uh, whatever you wish to add into your pos screen i have added this customer and pos profile and also i have added this pos search field that is item group if you wish to add more search field like your item category item brand or maybe any other category you can do that as well okay next we have pos profile so what exactly is pos profile so if uh, in a layman language if i talk each billing counter will be considered as a pos profile okay so each billing counter will be considered as a pos profile so i'll just show you how you can create one i'll say add pos profile i'll just give a name counter number 1 i'll just select my store where my inventory is available okay i can select my company address as well just for my billing and this uh, printing purpose now here we have this applicable for user let's say you have multiple user who are going to access this pos profile okay maybe you are having multiple shift so that also can be managed into your this erp next so let's say you have multiple user you can set the user list into this pos profile and that user will be only having a access to review this pos profile and the billing done with respect to this pos profile so multi user setup can be done you can add multiple mode of payment into your system as of now i'll just add this cash okay i'll just add one more mode of payment that is credit card if i wanted to make any of those as a default i can make it as a default mode of payment here are some configuration related to pos screen let's say if you wanted to hide the images you can do that you can hide the items which are unavailable you can do that automatically add filter item to cart validate stock on safe if you wanted to ignore your pricing rule you can do that if you wish to allow user to edit rate you can do that as well also allow user to edit discount okay if you wish to add only let's say i'll add retail as item group so if you wish to add a specific item group which should be only visible onto your pos screen you can add that as well okay here are some basic settings related to your print where you can map your print format if you have any specific terms and condition you can add that so all of these are setting related to your print okay you can set some of those right of account right of cost center and your income account if you have okay and your tax category so if you wish to apply discount on grand total on net total you can do that as well as i said erp next have a capability where multiple location wise you can track let's say i'll give you example i'm having a store and i'm having multiple uh, counters counter wise if i wanted to track uh, i would say like how much sales done per day or maybe per week so this can be managed through accounting dimension 
I'll just save this. Uh, or Tejas, I think we have some uh, participant waiting in the queue. Can you just admit them? Okay, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, so all of these were the prerequisites which you need to make sure before initiating your post transaction. Now, let me get into the system. Okay, I'll say open pause. So what happened? First, you need to select your company, then your pause profile. As I said, pause profile is nothing but your each counter. Let's say as a uh, at the start of a day, you have some opening balance with you. So you can add that opening amount and you just need to submit. OK, here I can search the customer. If I wanted to create a new customer, I can create that as well. Currently, let me take a random customer as of now. I say Chris. OK, yeah, as you can see, I have some of the item and into my post profile, I have applied a filter that item whose item group is under retail that only should be populated into my pause screen. So here you can see some of those items present over here. OK, let me take few of those. I'll say this dairy milk let me show you a, like a very simple and basic transaction okay i'll say ice cream okay automatically the tax got populated i'll say checkout if i wanted to make any amendment i can do that currently i'm paying by cash so automatically as i said you can put a default mode of payment into your system for each post profile So you just need to make sure all the details have been filled and you need to click on this complete order. That's how you do a transaction. This is your default print. If you wanted to take a print of this, you can take a print. If you wish to email, you can do that as well. Or else if you have new order, you just need to click on this new order. Let me take some another customer. OK. I'll select some of those items. OK, if you wish to apply some discount, let's say I wanted to apply 2% of the discount. So I can apply that discount as well. I'll say checkout. OK, let's say I wanted to do the payment by credit card. OK. Complete order. Submitted. OK, so this is just a very basic transaction you can do in this POS system. Now let me show you how this loyalty feature work in this pause. First, let me define you what exactly is loyalty program. So loyalty program is something which allow customers to earn points by spending a certain amount and let them redeem the point in future. OK. So first, there are some settings which you need to do before initiating your loyalty scheme. So I'll just search for the loyalty program. OK. Let me try to show you how you can create one. I'll say add loyalty program. Uh, I'll say Navratri offer. If there is a specific customer group to only that I wanted to uh, like keep that this group should be only applicable to uh, take this feature loyalty program so i can add that i can define the start date and end date when like from and to when it's applicable if i have any tier name i'll say this silver okay now what is this collection factor let me put this as a 1000 let's say you got a customer for a billing of 50000 so in that case if i put 1000 and so that means 1000 will be equal to one one loyalty point so if a customer buy something from my counter order value of 50000 then 50 loyalty point would be credited into his account if i wish to put any minimum total spend i can define that as well okay and here I can put the redemption conversion factor. Let's say there's a customer who took 50,000 order value product from me and he's already having 50 loyalty point into his account. 
so while redeeming or claiming this loyalty point how much loyalty point will, will be equal to a base currency so i'll say one loyalty point will be equal to 100 rupees that means if customer is having 50 loyalty point that will be equivalent to 1000 rupees okay if you wish to define any expiry date you can do that obviously this loyalty is an expense for your company so you can put your expense account as well okay you just need to save this now let me define this loyalty scheme into my customer master okay i'll just say define this for all of those customer loyalty program navratri offer i'll say update let me check whether i have mapped the company properly or not perfect so this was the setting for your loyalty program now let me show you how this works i'll go to the pos i'll select a customer ashok i'll just select few of this item okay Let me select some more item. Okay. If I discount, I can apply that. I'll say checkout. Okay. If you wish to do split payment, you can do that as well. I say 500 from credit card and rest amount through the cash. So I can do that as well. 623 complete order submitted now let me check whether the loyalty point got credited into my customer account or not so for that you need to search for the loyalty point entry list and here you can see one loyalty point got credited into this customer account so now let me show you if customer wish to claim this loyalty point, how they can do that. So again, I'll go to POS system. I'll select the same customer. I'll just take this ice cream as of now. I'll say checkout. Then if I click on redeem loyalty point, it will show me that currently you have 100 loyal uh, rupees into your account which you can claim i say i wanted to uh, use 50 rupees for uh, ru rupees from my loyalty account and rest through the cash okay you just need to click on complete order that's how you can do okay so this is how so, this yes sorry can you print it i think it's okay can you just print it and show So this is just a default uh, print format which I have mapped into my uh, POS screen. So this is how it looks in the default. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. No issue. Okay. So this was all about loyalty program. Now let me show you some another feature. I'll say new order. Let's say if customer wish to return any of those product. So how they can do it? just need to click on this three dot toggle recent order okay i say paid so it will show me whatever order i've punched i'll select this customer okay i'll say return so by default it show me all of those item okay i just need to go here and if i wanted to make any amendment in the quantity i'll say minus four okay and check out total payment amount okay complete order 
let's say whole and sole order i wanted to return so in the system it is showing me that your order has been written okay so i'll again go to this toggle descent order so your system will show you uh, like order which are paid how many were the bill which are consolidated and how much return has been done so this is just a view okay now let me show you a feature when where it can show you how you can enqueue a customer okay let's say i got a customer okay this ashok he select a single item maybe he there could be a chance of in a retail usually what happen sometime customer forget likes maybe any of the product or they wish to buy some other product as well so what if i wanted to keep this order in a queue so once you put this item into your cart you just need to click on this and save as draft so now my order has been saved into my draft okay and i can do a new billing let's say again i wanted to open that order which is in draft i'll click on toggle recent order this is my order which was in draft i will go to that i'll say if i wish to delete i can do that if i want to proceed with this order i'll say i did order okay i'll say check out i'll say by cash complete order that's how you do okay so this was a another feature uh, related to your like uh, this nq option so currently in this pos we are having two different feature at if i talk on a ui level experience this is a one option another one if you wish to use form level let's say just like your sales invoice and purchase invoice we have in the yap next so i'll just click on three dot and i'll say open form view so here we have a option where we can use this form level also you just need to select your customer you just need to select your order rest everything will be done okay so this was the another view so that is how your day goes on and uh, if you wish to close your pos at the day end or maybe after a week you just need to click on this close order you just need to select your posting time it will fetch the pause opening entry which you have punched at the start of your day and all of your invoices which you have done let's say your billing your return or maybe any of those this is a mode of payment your tax you just save and submit so this is how your pause closing entry has been done if i go into my connection it will show me pause invoice merge log and if i go into my sales invoice what actually got happen into my system i'll show you let me take a for this customer ashok not ashok i'll take this chris so in the back end what got happen my inventory got updated my banking effect has been done as well as my accounting if i click into my stock ledger it will show me the deduction which already got sold if i wish to see my accounting and banking entry i'll click on this accounting ledger okay so your bank and your accounting has been impacted so this is how your pos is done okay now just a minute so this is your like uh, global pos market share by end user 2022 okay so this is a market stats for global pos market share by end user 2022 okay so as you can see the above statistic the market is fragmented into retail restaurant entertainment and maybe other thing based on end user the retail segment is expected to hold the largest market share owing to the growth adoption of point of sale system in retail shop as if the time and cost efficient and provide real time about sales performance secondly it also facilitate a speedy payment process resulting in quicker purchase transaction in retail store so this was just a uh, market stats okay
and uh, guys not only your retail business or maybe fashion or maybe any other vertical erp next has the capability to manage all your business vertical so start switching to open source like erp next rather than being dependent on multiple other software for your business so yeah that's it from my side guys so i have few questions received for the q and a okay so i'll just start taking few of those okay okay so first question we have from uh, chelappa abdul kader so he has raised the question during peak hours if we meet network issue how we handle manually sales transaction and update restore in software so the answer for this question is uh, by default this pos has the functionality like if you don't have the internet still this pos will work and once you get the internet connection then it will post the entries so yes it can work in both of the environment it could be offline as well as online mode and i guess same question has been raised by jaik uh, ulainka okay another question we have from the chandra raju Uh, real time data analysis from cnc machine so yes real time data analysis from cnc machine is possible in erp next so there are like some setting we need to do related to data capturing tool and creating some api tool so yes this integration is possible so there is a company in bangalore i guess v3 technology who are using this integration in erp next they are having this cnc manufacturing business they are erp next end user and yes they are getting real time data for the analysis so yes it is possible to do the same if you wish to know more about this surely you can connect with us on indictrans okay our marketing team will drop the contact detail in the chat section next question we have from the james makwana how can we deploy this pos system so if you are here just wanted to tell you if you have any specific requirement or something uh, you wanted us to implement so you can connect us okay they just will put the contact detail into the comment section you can contact with us we can let you know your requirement next question we have from abdul karim i have to initiate click to call setup of exotel in erp next please explain that So yes, there are like uh, certain procedure for the Exotel integration. First one is obviously you need to buy your Exotel account, and by default, ERP Next have this Exotel tool developed within the system, which which by default capture your calls and lead. And we already did this for some of our client. So if you have any specific requirement or you wish to implement this, you can connect us. Okay. so yeah guys that that was some of the q and a which i have taken if someone has any of those question you can put into the comment section yeah one quick question uh, from hand yes okay so does it have a, a payment or uh, let's say any kind of uh, integrations like kind of a qr pay or a bank payment integration or kind of a roja uh, integration yeah so the bank integration already like some of there are some of the company which they have done you can search it off on the frappe marketplace okay okay yeah. yes guys anyone else yeah, hi sara so sara when your last slide you gave the statistic about how the uh, pos usage is fragmented among different sections Okay. okay so majority of the portion was occupied by retail section so correct correct so in retail section i just wanted to know is there any feasibility where we can just integrate the uh, like barcode scanner or some rfid scanner to have a quick billing see uh, the thing is that for small ticket item entering that much data is not a feasible option okay correct correct so any any possibility of that uh yes so what you need to do so there is not any like uh, other customization we need to do this thing is present by default in the erp next so if you are familiar with the erp next in the item master we have itself like a feature where you can map your barcode thing like your un number or maybe your en number 
so you just need to put the or map the barcode in the item master you just need to purchase that barcode scanning gun from the market then that is how it works so you don't need to do any other setting by default it is present okay understood thank you yeah uh hi sorab hi uh, sir uh, can you apply a multi currency option in pos do we have that or not uh multi currency i guess we have in the pos profile uh, itself you can define define your billing currency yeah uh, the, actually uh, i have done that but uh, i was facing a problem while closing the pos profile they were okay. not fetching that uh, converted currency like i have inr and pkr so my uh, for example pkr is my best currency and inr was my uh, account currency so okay. while converting while the converting in white of uh, inr to pkr they were not uh, they were not fetching uh, those uh, those those amount into pkr uh, at the closing level of course so let me know if this is the, 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 the it it was a problem on my side or uh, erp next is not yet integrated uh, have, haven't integrated this uh, multi currency fully okay okay so uh, wazir i got your question i'll just take this from my and maybe uh, then we can let you know on maybe on some other platform or linkedin i got your question i'll just check this yeah. from mine okay yeah yeah sure sure and yeah. one more question yes uh, 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 do we have any data uh, of the companies who are using uh, erp next in uae specifically do we have any uh, platform do we have any platform where i can so i the data that which companies are using erp next in uae uh, so uh, like domestically in the india i know like there are some of the customer who are using in uae uh -huh. i don't have any data currently right now with me uh -huh. yeah so oh, okay thank you yeah any more question Sir, uh, let's check the questions in the question box. Okay, in the chat section, chat I'll just check. Okay. Can't really pay absolute. Yeah, sure, uh, James. We will share you the video recording as well. Okay, this will be uploaded on the YouTube. Okay. Uh, does email function work? Just tested it. Did did not receive the email. system does not show any error okay. yeah so uh, if you think this uh, through this pos if this function is not working then obviously uh, i think from the notification thing you can do the setup and you can select this uh, this pause invoicing document so whenever your entry are getting punched in the real time the customer or maybe the end user will receive a notification so i think sending up a email won't be a issue okay uh you need to set up your email without confusion okay this was it is set up i send email from you. okay karandeep uh, what is a use case of multi currency pos uh, sir that is not a question for you that is for the uh, person who asked the question probably jalal So okay. It's a detailed use case because this is a unique use case. You want to see how it is. So on our marketing email ID or the sales email ID, you can share that, and we can have a review to it and find yes, yes. the possible solution. Okay. Uh, Karan, can you share the email address uh, in the chat? Chat. Yeah, yeah. Tejas will share you the email address for all the queries. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So thank you all. Uh, you can share your queries on contactatindiptransit.com. So I'm sharing you the email ID. So any more question? So should I put the question and this contact at indiptransit.com, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sure. Thanks. so i think uh, there are no question so thank you saurabh and thank you all for the webinar attending this webinar so thank you thank you all thank you so much everyone happy navratri to everyone
थैंक यू सौरभ थैंक यू थैंक यू सौरभ थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू फॉर वंडरफुल सेशन